My keys are my private property, which you don't have jurisdiction of. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today Softsit, who is well known to his local police department, got his car towed for parking over the 72 hour time limit and for no tags by Tacoma PD. So he does the dumbest thing possible. He rides to the police station on a motorcycle with his DOT exempt Softsit plate on it to make a complaint. I think you can see where this one is heading. He then gets pulled over when he leaves the police station and gets himself arrested for refusing to give a driver's license and gets his bike towed for no tags. And naturally, on his release from jail, he's vowed to make the city pay. Right, let's get into the video. Yesterday I moved my vehicle so they can't say it wasn't moved every 72 hours. So. Somebody told my vehicle off a of Sligo Mill Road and I want my vehicle back. Where is it at? This right here was left on my Mercedes. What was the reason for you, you all towing that vehicle? Uh, parking. Parking? It stayed there parking. Excuse me? It stayed there parking. It stayed there parking? I don't have a ticket on it. Can you give me a copy of the ticket? Okay, thank you. This one was left on my Mercedes. They were both moved yesterday, so it can't be the 72 hours. This again is more retaliation, attempted retaliation and harassment. They will not learn. Or maybe you just keep parking over the stated time allowed and driving around without tags. So maybe it's you who isn't learning. On this it says it must be moved every 72 hours. It was moved yesterday, so 72 hours have not passed yet. Neither was it passed with my Mazda. It also said that it must have a tag on it. Even though there is no law saying that I must put a tag on my vehicle, on my so I guess we're just going to ignore the Maryland vehicle law that says a person may not drive on a highway without plates attached to their car. The willful ignorance on display here is astounding. So we're going to take it into a federal court and bankrupt this little town for this harassment. We've already served the parking person. Mr. Bush with a letter of intent and the police department are next. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Yes, sir. So uh, the, the main whole reason was for unpaid parking tickets. Um, and I can give you the, um, do you want the parking enforcement supervisor's information as well? Uh, what I want is my, what's your name and badge name, Mr. My first name is Armani, last name is Keys, ID 8495. Okay, Mr. Keys, yes, sir. I want my vehicle returned back to where it was towed from. And you can tell the chief, the mayor, and whatever. Why stop at the mayor? You should take this even higher. I think the Supreme Court of the United States might be interested in this one. Or you could just pay your parking tickets and get a license plate for your vehicle. Just saying. Okay, I'm going up to Montgomery County again, and I want to know where this vehicle was towed to. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm about to give you okay I appreciate that. Right. Mr. Key says that for unpaid parking tickets, they towed this vehicle. The parking tickets are illegal parking tickets. And if you think I'm going to pay illegal parking tickets this government of tacoma park is on some serious dope what they're going to do is they're going to pay me for taking my private property off a of public area well now i think it's you who is on serious dope if you think you're going to get a penny out of the city over this and get your car back for free again though don't park over the allotted time and this won't happen 
you're choosing the wrong hill to die on when it comes to parking fines and vehicle tags. This is the game that these individuals play and they're not even good at it. Well, if towing cars for unpaid parking tickets and no tags is a game, then it seems they are very good at it because they managed to tow yours away. Also, they'll be playing that game again with you shortly, so I would limber up. Mr. Keys, yes, please tell who your, your chief and your mayor, if my vehicle is damaged anymore, they're going to they're gonna pay for it. Okay? I want my vehicle returned where it was parked at. So this is their um, phone number and also their address for the tow company. Um, and then that's towing. They're up in Beltsville. I, I thought you guys would have learned the first time, but you know, evidently you haven't. So if they thought I was joking and playing with them, they're about to find out. By, it wasn't towed by like um, a regular tow, it was towed by a flatbed. So, who authorized this tow? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming what you just said was dealing with a Mazda 3. Yep, you're going to have to close the cold park. I understand it. Let, let, uh, who am I speaking with, first of all? You're talking to Nick, the owner here. All right, Nick, the owner, you're being recorded right now. Let me explain, let me explain this to you. Right now, we're in a lawsuit. Nick the owner sounds like he's dealt with nonsense like this before. This should be good. Okay, I'm telling you right now that vehicle, I'm telling you right now that vehicle was illegally towed. And okay, and I, if you want your company involved in this big lawsuit, so be it. Okay, but that, that vehicle was illegally towed from that area by Tacoma Park, Maryland. Okay. So I want my vehicle back where it was. If you don't, I'll be filing a, a complaint with you also in federal court. I'm just letting you know that. Do that, do that, do that, sir. Okay, yeah, say no more. Say no more. Okay. Don't talk about right. in my head. Don't say no more. Shocking. Who would have thought making threats to add Nick the owner to a frivolous lawsuit would not be the best way to go about getting your car released? Also, did you notice how fast he hung up when he realised Nick wasn't taking any of his BS? Mr. Keys, please inform your uh, administration. I want my fucking car put back over there. They have never dealt with nobody like me before. Said every soft sit ever, right before failing hard. What is it about these idiots that they think threats and intimidation is going to somehow work on government agencies and private companies? They learned how to deal with these ridiculous people a long time ago. This is the game that these clowns play. This is the chief of police vehicle right here. Okay. They went out there and say, because of the tickets, they towed my vehicle, and as you heard, the tow man said, until I settle it with Tacoma Park. Okay, we're going to settle it, all right, right up in Greenville. Again, this is more attempt to intimidate and harass me. Well, let's hope nothing happens between here and Greenville then. 
The last thing you need right now is another encounter with the police, especially with those fake plates on your bike. That would be really unfortunate. Again, this is more attempt to intimidate and harass me. The tickets are illegal. As you heard the tow truck driver say, do not move my vehicle until I satisfy Tacoma Park, Maryland. Ain't that some shit? No, they're just the rules we all have to follow in a functional society. You're not special, you're not above the law, even though you think you are. So stand by. We about to get real greasy with this. Don't worry, we're standing by. In fact, we can't wait for you to get to Greenville, was it? He sent this officer out here to look at me and follow me. Well, you're right to be paranoid, but you kind of outed yourself as a soft sit in the police station. And they know who you are, so naturally they expect you to be driving illegally in some form. If I was a cop, that's exactly what I would expect you to do. It's called proactive policing. And now he's following me on my motorcycle. Well, duh. Sergeant Robinson to Tacoma Park Police. See your license registration. What's your name and badge, Nimal? Sergeant Robinson. What can I do for you? 8388. What can I do for you? Can I see your license registration, please? What crime have I committed, officer? Uh, you don't have a tag. Your tag's not readable. What crime have I committed, officer? Your license plate's not readable. First you said I didn't have a license plate. Now you say it's not readable. What is it? Uh, what is this? Can I see your license registration, please? What crime have I committed, officer? The traffic violation. A uh, traffic violation? I'm traveling. Okay. okay. I don't need a license and a, a registration to travel on my private property. You do need a license to drive a you motorcycle. Wanna... I do not need a license or a license plate to travel. Well, you don't need a license to travel, but you're not just traveling, you're riding a motorcycle, which is a privilege. So therefore it requires the same as a car and that's a license, registration and insurance to operate. So what are we gonna do, sir? I don't know, you tell me. You tell me, you're the I one that stopped me. I need your license and registration. Well, that's not what you're gonna get. I don't need a license on my own private property. This is a private property, it's a public property. This motorcycle is a private property, sir. This is a public street. The Supreme Court has ruled I'm traveling. I don't have to need it. You so, need a I do not need a license, sir, nor do I need plates. Yeah, I'm still gonna need Show me one of those Supreme Court cases that say you can operate a motorcycle or a motor vehicle on a public road without a license. Because I've been looking for five years now and I still haven't found one of those elusive cases. And please don't send me Thompson v Smith or Chicago Motor Coach Company or any of those other cases you dolts send me from time to time because those cases do not say what you think they say. 
it's quite the opposite actually and that's always fun to point out but by sending them to me you've just shown to me that you haven't even read the case yourself so what what, is, what are we going to do sir is your body cam on yes sir okay your honor this individual has stopped me on a public street riding my private property telling me i need a license and I need plates on my own private property. Show me the law or the statute, sir. He's not required to show you the law at the side of the road. He knows that law exists. It's on you to understand the law before you take your vehicle out onto a public road. And you've obviously failed at that because you've chosen to believe charlatans peddling pseudo law online rather than learn what the law really is. Show me the law and the statute. I don't know it specifically. Okay. 13. Section 13 in the transportation article is for registration. For driving, I'm traveling. Yes. For commercial use. This is not commercial use. Doesn't matter, you're on a plane. Oh, it does matter, sir. It does matter. Okay. No, sorry, wrong yet again. And that argument will not persuade a judge because nowhere in law does it say driving is a commercial term only. States wouldn't be able to offer commercial and non-commercial driver's licenses if that was the case. So what are we going to do now, sir? I need your registration. It's not going to happen. So what are we going to do now? All right. What are we going to do now? I need your registration <laughs> and your license. What are we going to do now? What about your name and date of birth? What? You're not getting anything, Nothing? sir. Nothing. Zero. Well, how can I tell who you are? What are we going to do, sir? I'm on my private... Your Honor, I'm on my private property, riding on a public street, traveling, and this officer has stopped me. Your Honour, today we caught a repeat offender who continually refuses to abide by the law because he stupidly thinks driving is for commercial purposes only. He also refused to identify, which as you know is against the law. And if you try to hold him accountable for his actions, he will attempt to commit paper terrorism by filing frivolous liens against everyone involved for applying the law equally. All right, sir. Okay. You're going to be placed under arrest. Okay. You're not giving us your license registration. Okay. Let me put this back in here. Go for it. Put your hands on your back. Do you want to give us your name and license? Name and date of birth? Anything? This officer followed me out of the station, and now I'm being arrested. For what I'm being arrested for? Uh, driving without a license. Okay. Okay. No, driving no. without a You're license. Also not identified I'm not driving, license. sir. I'm traveling. Second. I'm traveling, and I don't have the ID in the state of Maryland. You have what? To give me at least your name and date of birth. I don't have to give you anything. You have to give me something. Maryland Transportation Code Section 26-202 says different. Come on, let's go. I'm ready to go. You're going to learn a valuable lesson, sir. I will. Yeah. Where is this tag through? This DOT exempt through a certain state? Nothing? Okay. Can you uh, take it back to the station? No. I, uh... Was it, uh, can I get my keys off of that bike, please? You can have the keys. Wait. The bike. Okay, I'm good to go. Come on, man. Make sure that that bike is not damaged Where at all. Where my keys are my private property, which you don't have jurisdiction of. You know, as soon as I heard that line, I thought, yep, this is definitely video intro material. I mean, that's probably one of the dumbest things I've ever heard a soft seat say, and that's saying something, because they do have jurisdiction over you, your car, your bike, and now your keys. Are we ready to go, sir? I'm right. Mr. Wright. Um, they asked me your keys. You said you wanted your I got my keys. I got my keys. All right. All right. Let me see you up the front. Some of my stuff yes, sir. Uh. 
and now he's going through my bags doesn't have a search warrant illegally searching my private property I think you need to look up what the word illegal means and how that word is used because they do have the legal authority to search your belongings when you've been arrested. That's just a fact. Right, I think that's where we'll leave this one for now. The right to jail is uneventful and they turn his camera off when he gets to the jail anyway. But he did post a video on his release from the Montgomery County Detention Centre, which apparently he was in for 19 and a half hours. He continues to threaten just about everyone with a lawsuit for violating his constitutional and civil rights. And he recently posted a video where he served the city of Tacoma Park, including the mayor and the chief of police with a letter of intent and says the price has just gone up. So he just continues to make a complete fool of himself and records all of it for our viewing pleasure. And his arrest has only made him even more determined to get revenge. Anyway, I'll drop a link to all the videos I've mentioned in the description below, including this one. And as always, I will be keeping an eye on his channel myself and I will bring you any updates worth sharing. Right, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to support me, then please consider becoming either a patron or a channel member for perks or you can leave me a super thanks. I would also like to thank my current patrons and members for their continued support. It really does mean a lot. Take care all and I will catch you in the next video.